Angular 14 was recently released with a bunch of exciting features, and today I'll present them to you. They are standalone components, route providers, environment initializer, typed forms, the inject function, optional injectors in embedded views, setting the page title from the route, and autocomplete in the Angular CLI. So let's get started. I'm Lucas Paganini, and in this channel, we release web development tutorials. Consider subscribing if you're interested in that. For most people, the most significant change in this version is the possibility of creating components without ng modules. Yep, you got that right. If you are a bit lost, let me show you a folder structure from a classic Angular component. There, we have an HTML file for the template, a CSS file for the styles, and a TypeScript file for the component, and another TypeScript file for the ng module. This last file imports the dependencies of our component, declares the component, and can also define some providers. In Angular 14, we can do all that directly in the component without needing an ng module. To do that, we just need to set the standalone property in our component to true. Be aware, standalone components are not the new way of declaring components. They are another way of declaring components. The classic way of defining ng modules will not be deprecated. Well, I can't really promise that they won't be deprecated. But yeah, so far, there are no intentions of deprecating ng modules. As a matter of fact, I will still use ng modules instead of standalone components because I like the isolation that ng modules provides. Second, don't migrate your entire application to standalone components yet. Standalone components are very recent, and it will take us a while to create conventions and define best practices. I recommend waiting a bit longer before jumping ship. But hey, if we drop ng module and use standalone components, how can we set providers by route like we used to do with ng modules? To address that, Angular added route providers. So basically, route definitions now have a property called providers, allowing us to provide values only to the modules and components rendered by that route. Another thing we used to do with ng modules was run a setup script when a lazy loaded module was initialized. In other words, the constructor of a lazy loaded module would only run when the module was initialized and some developers took advantage of that to run some kind of setup. How can we do that with standalone components? The solution is to use the environment initializer token. This token allows us to provide a setup function that will run before the environment is initialized. If we want it to run when we navigate to a route, we can provide this token using route providers. This has the same effect as our previous solution using ng-module constructors and has the added benefit of being more explicit. Another long-awaited feature of Angular 14 is typed forms. Before version 14, form values were typed as any. This means that we lose all the awesome type safety of TypeScript. By the way, there is a type safe way of saying that you don't know the type of something. If you're interested in that, check out this one minute video explaining the differences between any and unknown. Anyways, we don't have that problem anymore because Angular 14 has strict types for forms. So if a form control deals with a string, the value will be typed as string instead of any. Now, this is the most interesting feature to me. Angular 14 introduces the inject function and it looks very much like React hooks. It gives us a universe of possibilities to reuse our code. The most relevant being that we can now create reusable functions which use dependency injection internally. If you are as interested in functional programming as I am, you know that means a lot. But as Uncle Ben once said, with great power comes great responsibility. This creates implicit dependencies in your functions. I expect my function dependencies to be explicitly declared in function arguments. So if I see a function with no arguments, I imagine it to have no dependencies. But now, we can create functions that seem pure, but actually inject a lot of dependencies internally, making them harder to test and more coupled to the Angular framework. 
A good solution is to follow the same convention that we have on React, which is to prefix those functions with use. So that way, you can easily identify functions that use inject internally. One common task in web applications is changing the page title on each route. In Angular, this used to be a very manual process, but now we can simply define the page title in the route definition. But I know what you're thinking. Lucas, I can't set the title in my route definition because my title is not static. It depends on something that I get from my API. Don't worry, Angular 14 got you covered. If you need to customize the title dynamically, you can do so by extending the title strategy class from the Angular router and providing your new custom title strategy instead of the default one. Another nice little thing is that we now have autocomplete in the Angular CLI. Just type ng on your terminal and press tab to let the Angular CLI either autocomplete your command or give you some help. To activate it, you must run the ng-completion command and confirm that you want to enable the autocomplete by typing yes. Finally, just restart your terminal to have autocomplete enabled. Last but not least, you can now pass optional injectors in embedded views. In the past, we had to use other APIs to do that, such as the ng-component outlet. These were the most relevant changes in Angular 14, in my opinion. If you want to see all changes, you can do so by checking out the references in the description. If you want to dive deeper into the Angular framework, consider subscribing to our newsletter at lucaspaganini.com. It's spam free, we keep the emails few and valuable. And if your company is looking for remote web developers, consider contacting my team and I. You can do so at lucaspaganini.com. As always, references are in the description. Like, subscribe, have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.